The rise of social media has been both a gift and a curse, mainly because these platforms have allowed many people to connect in a more expansive way than ever before. But all of this also comes with a dark side, in the sense that it's becoming a growing addiction for many people. And as a result, humanity has sort of hit a roadblock in their spiritual evolution, because most people would much rather spend most of their time on their phone rather than work on themselves. And that can hinder our growth because we could be using that time in more productive ways. This online obsession has disconnected us from our families, from God, and even each other because we are losing our ability to interact face to face with other human beings. Thus, we often miss out on those little precious moments that life gives us because we're too busy looking at our phones, and time that is lost can never be replaced. We are slowly shutting ourselves away behind our phone or computer screens, and even those cute little emojis that we often use are making matters worse because they are to some extent replacing real human emotions with artificial ones. Thereby, as we outsource our feelings to these tiny emoticons, we begin to narrow our ability to express ourselves honestly and genuinely. Sadly, most people nowadays would much rather auto-generate an emoji into a text than write an actual heartfelt message. These emojis create an illusion of caring and enthusiasm, but in truth, they are contributing to the decline of our emotional intelligence. In fact, many studies have found that many of today's teenagers are lacking empathy. And empathy is such a big part of what makes us human. Without it, we might as well just be social robots. And if we're not careful, that could very well end up becoming our reality. Humanity is at a precipice and we are at risk of losing ourselves and our identity in today's growing technology. Isn't it surprising how many people nowadays are hiding behind filters as a result of social media? That creates a sort of double life because people are advertising a false image of themselves. And that to me feels like people are fearful of being authentic. Perhaps because we are being programmed to believe that external beauty is everything. That if you somehow lack it, you're worthless. And that's such a lie because there is no such thing as perfection. What's even more frightening are the plastic surgery modifications that people undergo to try and resemble how they look on their phone filter. That's not conducive of self-love. It's actually having the opposite effect to where people are feeling more insecure about themselves than ever before. These social media platforms are the perfect tool for behavior modification because they are changing how we feel, how we act, and what we do. And all that is toxic. All it does is simply boost our ego and downsize our mind. While at the same time, it's creating a lonely, apathetic, isolated society. This obsession isn't healthy. Many people are actually suffering from social media depression, trying to compare their lives to the lives of others. And that leads to less satisfaction, loneliness, and sadness. And while I'm on that topic, I want to send out a quick message to anyone who is watching this video. If you're feeling depressed because you think that you're not enough, let me just say this. That is absolute BS, because you were created in God's image. It doesn't matter what skin color you are, what religion you belong to, your social status, if you're an introvert, or even if you have a different sexual preference. All of those things are just part of the human experience. They don't devalue you in any way as a human being, because you are beautiful just the way you are. And anyone who tells you different probably lacks self-love. 
You were put on this planet to be the best version of yourself. We're not here to please or compete with anyone. We are here to live our lives to the fullest, regardless of our imperfections. So stop comparing yourself to other people. Even posting selfies to get attention or to get some sort of approval from others that you have value is hurting your own self-esteem whether you realize it or not. All these desires to have more likes on our posts, to want to look like others, to have more friends, again, is just purely an ego trip. We don't need any of that to feel complete or happy. All these things we see on there, the expensive possessions, the beautiful people, the lavish vacations, create envy. It makes people feel empty on the inside as if they're missing out on something. These social platforms were created with the sole purpose of being addictive, so that people would become hooked on them like a drug, while giving us the impression that we are connected, but in reality, we're not. So a word of advice, the next time you go out there to visit your family, friends, go to a ball game, or take a vacation, Put down the damn phone and just enjoy the moment. Unplug and try to reconnect with yourself. Stop scrolling through pictures, videos, or waiting to get a like from someone you hardly even know. Instead, take the time to do something worthwhile with your life. Work on a hobby. Volunteer to help others who are less fortunate. Go for a walk in nature. Enjoy your own company. These are but a few of the things that will give your life meaning and purpose, not staring at the phone all day. So wake up and start living. God bless my friends.